Battle Royale was one of my favorite categories of gaming because of Fortnite. One of the OG classic Battle Royale H1Z1, it popped off on PC and was later on PlayStation, laying on a giant map against 99 other players, loot, shoot, gear up, and kill for the victor royale. The most awesome parts are when the ring is closing and only seconds remain it makes gameplay really intense and going into the next matches, reliving that moment, finding those good spots to land with your friends or solo. This Finding a really good spot to loot and get good weapons and find a place to camp to get that victory royale. Well. You can also use other vehicles to maneuver around the map and the environment is very crazy. We have customization to change your character and it really changes how you play. As more and more content creators played H1Z1, the popularity of the game rised very quickly. PUBG, known as Player Unknown Battlegrounds, was another battle royale game set on a large map with 99 other players. But this one felt different. There was different attachments for different weapons that you can get sniper scopes you can lean variety of vehicles around the map for player unknown battlegrounds felt more modern and like real life it had a battle pass more customization you can even use like frying pan and just use snipers across the map massive explosions and lots of gameplay and there was more realism in player unknown battlegrounds and it offered a third person gameplay first person gameplay and it added a lot of variety of gameplay and and a lot of melee weapons and using a lot of shotguns i played this game for myself it was a lot of fun with friends but the pacing of the game was quite slow for me i was so used to playing fortnite so much that the gameplay of that was so much quicker than play or no battlegrounds and this game offers a lot of different biomes a lot of map changes a lot of different maps throughout the seasons of player unknown battlegrounds and there's a lot of maps that came out for this game and it added a lot of variety of content it offered a lot of content to players and one of the most the most 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 popular battle royale to ever come out in gaming history was fortnite battle royale this set boundaries that people thought this would never happen in a battle royale game this game took it to the next level before fortnite actually became a thing it was actually in beta it became like a save the world pbe type of gameplay and fun fact they actually took them a month to actually develop the battle royale for fortnite and look how much it got the numbers of fortnite went up very tremendously and it just fired up a lot of people to get on the game and it just exploded it was everywhere man this game was everywhere fortnite was like the game to play when you come home from school it's like yeah dude let's play a couple matches of fortnite and let's get a dub the fortnite took battle rail and pretty much spin it on its head basically you drop into the map the big large map and basically each season was very different and fortnite right now is still popping off and it's still one of the top played free-to-play games on the market still it offers a a lot of variety of content each season and it's just insane you got battle passes you have new weapons new maps new map locations every season and just new theme every season we have new themes every season and game events that very changed everything the storyline of the game was absolutely insane it made you get hooked to it and game events that really give you hints to the next season you have like secret challenges and that led into like lore and the story and the gameplay it was just absolutely crazy in fortnite really set the boundaries of what limits the battle royale and it just fortnite took it to the next level other than just you in the map and just looting shooting and surviving to the final victory royale fortnite offered a building which you can build um you can set you know different buying combinations to your controller and basically you can build walls floors and these buildings will protect you from other from other players shooting at you basically it was more of a cover thing and throughout fortnite success they added like zero buildings like that so it felt like a generic battle royale other than you just building build a building and you can also edit so it made fortnite very competitive and it gave a skill gap between how fast people can build and edit and shoot people at the same time and learning the rotations through storm as it closes through the final circle and the competitiveness of fortnite it was nuts and fortnite will be always one of my favorite games of all time because it was always you know i wanted to play it so bad collecting skins paying a lot of money for that game was it was crazy and when fortnite first came out it was like power world when it first came out and you guys know already know that feeling when a new game comes out and and then the popularity of the game just explodes 
bloating and fortnite is it's been out for years and years like over 70 years and it even saved the world fortnite is still popular till this day of 2024 and it's still popping off when it released years ago and it's it's crazy that fortnite is still popping off until this day and each season is different unique and offers a lot of story and gameplay and it, it's just awesome and what's a battle royale game that can't compete with fortnite we have apex legend um everything familiar in this game was pretty much taken from titanfall it was made from ea so all the guns and like the characters and the lore they took a titanfall and they put it into apex legends pretty much took a snow globe shook it around and they basically made this game into like a battle royale mode you, you basically you drop into a whole big map with 99 other players obviously there's rank play there's solo duos squads and basically there's numerous characters from each support category and you have like support players and you have you know defending and attacking and there's different ways to play the game and each character had its own own abilities and basically you pick your favorite character to play you drop in this map loot guns find your different weapons and obviously these care packages would drop down into the map and would give you rare weapons that you wouldn't get out of ground loot or just looting regularly from chests apex legends really took it to the next level after fortnite and it just took each character's abilities and made the in game of total chaos and with having each character having different abilities it made you strategize what to do next in a different scenarios and really pick your favorite landing location and really get those wins call of duty black ops 4 introduced blackout this was cold duty's first take at battle royale before it became warzone Treyarch basically took all fame favorite maps from multiplayer smashed them together and created a large map for call of duty from vehicles boats and offered a lot of secrets also added zombies and the boss from ix it got a lot of updates through its life cycle through black ops 4 but didn't last long and also offered a lot of challenges and free skins to unlock when you got certain wins with specific items inside of the game and just create a lot of, of gameplay and as you see in the gameplay there's new town and you can't have a call of duty battle royale without having new town you know so i wish they would implement fan favorite multiplayer maps smash them together into inside a war zone and i think that game would probably do well as it's doing now but i think blackout was a little better take of a battle royale with call of duty especially adding zombies and bucky bombs it just added index the next layer of gameplay in for black ops 4 even though they skipped the campaign but it added different ways to play the game from like earning different characters from zombies and just using your quads to jump up hills and going into massive buildings putting bob bar down and just basically new ways to play the game and it was just it just created a total chaos i did not play black ops 4 blackout that much but during the beta i actually won a game of solo and it was actually crazy the cinematic trailer for black ops 4 blackout was pretty awesome and they also took took classic score streaks just like the rx the, the rcxd hopefully i said that right it's a little rc car you can uh basically drive around and explode someone to kill them and they had that inside a blackout and it just really brought back that nostalgic all of duty warzone is a free-to-play battle royale game developed and published by activision it was released on march 10th of 2020 and it is available on multiple platforms including playstation xbox and pc warzone is set in a fictional city of verdansk featuring a massive map that accommodates up to 150 players in a match players can choose to play solo in duos or in squads of up to four players the game combines elements of the traditional call of duty gameplay with battle royale genre where players scavenge for weapons armor and resources while battling to be the last team or player standing in addition to the battle royale mode warzone also features a mode called plunder where the objective is to collect as much in-game currency as possible within a time limit the game has received regular updates including new seasons with additional content such as weapons maps and gameplay changes it has generated a large player base and remained popular in the gaming community warzone 2.0 offered the same mechanics as warzone but it integrates the current call of duty game into the mix call of duty releases every year they do a pretty good job at integrating the new titles into warzone and it goes the same with warzone 3 but with warzone 2.0 they ruined the movement inside of this game which could no longer slide cancel there was a way to do it but it was more harder to interfere with different buttons but warzone 2.0 was a very slower pace than the first warzone and it really slowed down the gameplay and the movement which less tryhards but it did not slow down the hackers at all but the gameplay introduces introduces like new weapons new mechanics new gameplay maps updates and the future updates for quality for warzone
Warzone was really pretty good. Added new content, every new season of Battle Passes, and all new DMZ game mode, and it just it integrated a lot of gameplay, Juggernauts, and you can get a nuke inside of Warzone and stuff like that, and Gas Mask if you go to the buy station to get one, and the gas will close in, and you need to pretty much win the game, and as the, as the gas closes in, and having underwater fights while driving like vehicles and driving boats and stuff like that. And let's rewind real quick. If we go back to Call of Duty Vanguard, remember remember when I said they integrated the current Call of Duty into the Warzone, and this is what I meant. When Call of Duty Vanguard released, pretty much merged into Warzone. When Warzone got released with Vanguard, they merged together and it created this style of gameplay of this tropical map that really made it Call of Duty Vanguard. And this map looked very cool, but the streamers wasn't really excited about this map at all because a lot of people hated it. Um, I played it a few times during like uh, the with King Kong versus Godzilla when it got released in the the new event. It was really weird. But Warzone is free to play to all players and except cheaters. And this game offered a lot of updates for each new Call of Duty that came out. So that was a good part. Every time a new Call of Duty would come out, it would kind of merge into what that Call of Duty was inside of Warzone. And it just pretty much refreshed the gameplay and made everything unique. And hopefully Call of Duty keeps embracing that and keeps doing that for every Call of Duty title. But they always ruin something about the gameplay, like removing movement or slide canceling. So I don't know how they do that every time. And also subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification to never miss a video.